Hey guys, it's Girl Got Game. Welcome back to Lucky Rabbit Reflex. It's finally time to romance Mr. Taciturn. I've been looking forward to this since basically the beginning of the game. So, for him, Mr. Rhett Sugden, we have to get a job in the library and the drama club, obviously. He likes elegant and casual clothing. And let's see, he dislikes cute young madam or punk clothing. Ending requirements. Fill this relationship bar, and for the good ending, 70 plus smarts. But for his best ending, we need to complete the drama, uh, the drama, the drama subplot, and all stats at 130 plus, all of them. But we're going for the good end first, so that shouldn't be too hard. Uh, the general tips are a jerk with a heart of gold. Rhett likes a girl who can give as good as she gets on the sarcasm front. I can take care of that. Though he doesn't mind a little honesty every now and again. Rhett's best ending requires the heroine not only join the drama club, but that she also get the lead role and excel in the school play in May, attend the drama club 10 times, including the audition on the 3rd of December, and raise all stats to 70 plus to ace every exam at Christmas, and be cast as Juliet in the play, attend the club 20 times total, and ace your final exams, all stats 130 plus to perform well in May, and get his best ending. <laughs> He's also a horror buff, apparently, so selecting any horror options that appear is often to make him happy. So he'll like the haunted house, I guess, maybe, possibly. <sighs> so, a wee bit complicated, but I'm going to try and see if I can get his number just by working at the library. Because um, I'm not going to try and do the drama subplot just yet. I'm going to be saving that for his best ending. In the meantime, we'll just get our studying up. And we'll avoid club for now. I think I need smarts in order to take. Oh, really? So even if you don't click club, it takes you to club. Hmm. Who knew? What? What do you mean it folded? I mean what I said. There are only, what, five members last year anyway? I guess for some strange reason, the president decided it wasn't worth it anymore. Ugh. Not try to shove out all that cash for a dough bog and everything. I was this close to getting my yellow tags. This close. I'm going to pretend I know what the hell you're going on about. Come on, Lou. It's not all that bad. You can join the netball club with me instead. I'm taking over as captain now that Mary's left. It's going to be great. Uh huh. And by it's going to be great, you mean it's going to be sitting around doing F all all term, right? Exactly! It'll be a right dot with all the perks. Something extracurricular to go on your university application. So you'll join, right? I think you might be confusing me for one of you lot. I'm not going to uni for another two years, remember? Oh, <sighs> Maybe I'll just check out athletics after all. H hey! I haven't even explained the best part! You love those cute little netball kits, right? There's a teeny little skirt and bib with your name on it! Uh... What the hell was that about? You chosen a club yet, Rosie? Ah! Give me a heart attack, why don't you? <laughs> don't change the subject. You were joining the athletics club, right? Why is everybody here a member of some club? At my old school, nobody really gave a toss. Unless skipping class to go smoke in the toilets counts as extracurricular. Well, you know university applications are coming up, right? Looks good if you say you actually did something outside of school that wasn't surfing the internet or getting smashed. Or, you know, shoplifting like most of the population. I see. Lots of prospects in the athletics club. Get your weekly exercise, compete against other schools, win medals. Well, you're selling it very well. But I think I might give the drama club a shot since I've been forced into this. Eh, you can always change your mind later. I'm sure I'll see you on the track before the year's out. I guess. Hey, you could at least pretend you weren't only talking to me to recruit me. Where's my... So anyway, Rosie, how's your first week going? Sorry, Rosie. Lunchtime's only so long. So many recruits, so little time. <sighs> I guess I'll try and give the drama club a shot next week, then. I am curious. I probably won't get... His phone number, though, if I don't join drama. And I gotta get that relationship up for ha before Halloween. Uh, might have to do some drama. 
That's too much drama in my life already. We're just starting. Huh. Huh. Whew. Ugh, nearly missed registration again. Old habits die hard, I guess. There'd better not be anyone in my seat. We're asleep again. I keep telling you to just stay over. I said I was fine. You don't need to keep harassing me about it. I'm not harassing. Fine. I I'll drop it. But you... You need to make time for us too, you know. I mean, we are your fit. And he isn't? Sorry, Dis, but I'm not just going to drop everything and run off with you people. You people? Look. I'm sorry. I don't really want to talk about this. I'm gonna be late. But, Chippin, you... Uh. <clears throat> ah, oh, I'm sorry. Are you trying to get past? Oh, uh, kinda. I mean, are you okay? I kinda saw... Mm, I wouldn't worry. My brother and I don't really see eye to eye most of the time. Oh, so you're Chippin's sister. You know Shupin? Uh, yeah, we're in the same form class. I'm Rosie. Oh. Well, it's nice to meet you, Rosie. I'm Dis. Um, Shupin and I are twins. <laughs> I can sort of see the family resemblance. <laughs> well, I'd best be off. My form class isn't even in this building. It was nice meeting you. Ah, oh, same. Hmm. I can see the school has its fair share of angst. What a crazy story you two had. I've got mail. That we've read before. Thank you for joining. Merle emailed me twice, and that's this. Alright. Let's go to our diary. Can we apply at the library yet? Oh, what a cute outfit you've got going on. Uh, I don't really think I'm qualified enough for this job. I hear they only accept real brainiacs. Okay, we'll save that for later then. As for our outfit, we need to accessor- Oh! ah, That's a cute little pashmina. I love it. Thank you, lamb. But this is still the best thing. Uh, I can't date anybody yet, so I guess I'll go out to the library. Okay. If I can't get the library job by the end of this week, I will go to club next week, I think, is what I'll do. And then Riot gets this. She throws him out of the window totally naked. Not that there was anything to see, mind you. I guess all of those therapeutic massages built up her muscles or something, I don't know. Isn't that a bit much for daytime television? <laughs> you think that's bad? You should watch this week's. Apparently, she's fallen in with the wrong crowd, and that baby she took in turns out to be her estranged drug dealer daughter's. It's television at its finest, I swear to God. Ah, uh, clearly I'm not up to date with my soaps. And aren't we supposed to be studying? I'll never get this report done at this rate. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure Merle will fill you in. Lord knows she's sky of school to watch them often enough. Daytime television has so much to answer for. Hey, what's a few lessons in the name of drama? Oh! And you do know Grissom's getting back with Mercedes, right? Even after tying her brother to that anchor when he found them that time at the villa? Seriously, it's... You know, thrilling is hearing every inane detail of the crap you watches. Some of us are trying to work. Uh, eh? Is that my best friend? Wow. Considering that booming voice she's got, she's tiny. Huh? <coughs> Whoa! Surprise sneeze attack! Oh, sorry, Lamb. Didn't mean to sneeze as soon as you showed up. Ah, oh, Lamb, glad to see you're as cheery as always. Care to join us? We're only halfway through the TV listings. There's plenty left for you. Hilarious, Pietro. No, unlike some people, I would actually rather like to pass my exams. And you, Marshallar, you'd really think the head girl would set a better example. You know, Lamb, contrary to what you might think, you don't actually own the common room. You can always go to the library if you're so hell-bent on revising every second of the day. Oh, but this, then we never get to see her smiling face. Ah, yes, you're right. 
Thank you, Miss Pachaku, for gracing us with your presence. Uh, um, guys, we really should start working. Eh? Oh, don't tell me Pachaku's got you already, Rosie. Oh, you're that new girl. Uh, uh yeah, it's Rosie. Hm. I'd take better care of my choice of friends if I were you. You don't want these idiots dragging you down. You didn't want these idiots dragging you down? Stuck up cow. You'd think the head girl would set a better example. Well, God, if you weren't such a cruel bitch from hell, maybe they'd have considered you for the job. Ah, I'm sensing you guys have a history. <laughs> You'll understand soon enough, Rosie. She may look harmless on the outside, but that lamb. Ugh, she makes my skin crawl. Rar, who knew Diz has such a temper on her? Lamb is a harmless little lamb, I'll have you know. Leave her alone. Oh, we're gonna get this already. Ugh. I'd say I was glad to be out of the cold, but it's the library. I think I'd rather take my chances in the rain. Is what the old Rosie'd say, but starting today, I'm turning over a new leaf. I'm hitting the books. Education, education, education. Ugh. Ugh, there's hardly anyone in here, but there's still nowhere to sit. I know it's uncomfortable for the poor things, but surely people could put their bags on the floor instead of taking up valuable seats. Maybe I should just study at home after all. Fat lot of good, though, it's done me so far. So many distractions. Oh, speaking of distractions, looks like there's a spare seat at that table over there across from that oddly familiar redhead. Now, where have I seen him before? Where have I seen him before, indeed? Oh, der, Rosie. Isn't he in my English class? What was his name again? Red or Reed or Raid or something? So close. I'm surprised I didn't recognize him sooner, to be honest. He's pretty outspoken, always arguing with Mr. Mackham over the tiniest details. Pretty broad shoulders for a bookworm, though. I wonder if he bench presses dictionaries in his spare time. Interesting hair color, too. I wonder if he dies. You having fun there? Eep! I mean, um... C can I sit down here, I mean? What's stopping you? Uh, well, you know, just thought I'd be polite. <laughs> My, aren't we moody? Guess I'd best just sit down and shut up then. Hmm. Well, this is awkward. For me, I mean. He seems pretty oblivious. Funny, he seemed way more talkative in English. That book must be pretty damn interesting. He hasn't looked up once. Though I guess he might have actually come here to study, God forbid. Ah, oh, that's that book we're meant to be studying this term. Crap, we're actually meant to be reading it outside of class? Oh, what is it? Huh? Oh. Was I staring again? He probably thinks I'm some kind of creepy stalker. Ah, uh, well, it's just... that book. I, uh, forgot we were studying it. You know, in class. <laughs> Which we have together? I wonder if his parents have to work this hard. I know we have class together. Ah, <sighs> of course he... wait, what? He... noticed me? It's the beret. Huh? It stands out. Uh, oh. What can I say? I'm nothing if not observant. <sighs> well, doesn't look like I'm going to get anything done today. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I'll stop talking. Uh. Oh, so you are capable. I'm glad. Uh, eh? You know, you're kind of a dick. And I can say that with full emphasis this time. Come now, Beret. This is a library. I'll not have that kind of talk. Some of us are here to learn. Ugh. Twat. And if I leave now, it's like he's won. Damn him! Looks like I'm here for the long haul. That's one way to keep me studying, I guess. <laughs> Alright. 
I'm kind of like, you know what? I'm just gonna do club. Whatever. I'm scared. I'm scared that we won't get the Halloween scene if we don't get his number soon. Oh, just about made it on time for once. Wouldn't want these intellectual types to get the wrong impression on my first day. That said, this isn't quite what I was expecting. This place is pretty cluttered. I'd heard the club president was one of those super intelligent, everything in its place types. How nice of you to join us, Beret. But Beret? If you're planning on sneaking in late, you might want to use that lovely little enclave back there next time. The one with the nice blue curtains, see? You and your headgear will blend right in. Eh? Hey, I'm not even late. The thing starts at two, right? And turning up puffing and panting at three minutes past is a great way to prepare yourself mentally, I suppose. My apologies, Beret. I hadn't realized we were in the presence of a true thespian. Okay, okay, I get it. God, I'm sorry for turning up three minutes late, okay? Aw, oh, there's no need for all that. Just Rhett will be fine. Huh? <sighs> well, aren't you going to introduce yourself, Beret? Don't keep us all hanging. Uh, oh. What, like, just my name? Or like, my hobbies and stuff? Surprise me. Uh, okay. Well, my name is Rosy Cheeks, and uh, I save when I'm nervous. I just moved here, uh, and I'm in class 13B. Is that all? Uh, well, I guess? I'd complain about going first, but I've got a feeling he'd only bring up my being late again. <laughs> Well, thank you for that riveting self-introduction, Beret. I was... moved. Can I sit down now? If it means your little disruption is over, then please, by all means. Gah! I really don't know how much more of this I can take. Okay, so that's how that goes. I'm just curious. <laughs> I, uh, totally love Shakespeare. Oh, really? because I think I might have heard of him. Well, well, fine. I also enjoy the odd Jane Austen and uh, a little plath every now and again. Well, I certainly feel foolish. At any rate, much as I'd like to test the extent of your name-dropping abilities, we'd best be getting on. Care to take a seat? I'm two witty retorts away from storming out of here, to be honest. This club had better be worth it. I actually like that option a lot better. As I was saying before, I was interrupted. My name is Rhett Sugden, and I'll be taking over presidency from Owen Mackham, who seems to have found his true calling in boxing. Best of luck to him. I'll not beat around the bush. As members of this club, you'll be expected to pull your own weight. That means not missing meetings or rehearsals, turning up on time and prepared. Suffice to say, the drama department's been rather lackluster as of late, to put it mildly. Call me crazy, but I'm thinking that if we pull our collective finger out, we might be able to put on a production that's not complete shite for once. W wow Seems pretty determined, I'll give him that. Well, now that you've all woken up, I suppose there's no time like the present to get stuck in. I want you all in groups of three. Role plays, ad-libbed. Think of something. And that includes you, Beret. Would it be too much to ask you to stop gawping at me and find a partner? Y yeah I mean, uh, no, I'm on it. If I keep at this, I get the feeling this is going to be a long year. Just a little bit. Okay, so we should get his phone number, and we can start bugging him. Although, whether he'll go out with us remains to be seen. Yep, I've got mail. Mailing list registration. All recent sign-ups have been added to the NMC Drama Club mailing list. After all the time this has taken me, needless to say, you had all better turn up next week. Please also find and close my telephone number, which is to be used for drama matters only. Rhett Sugden. But that's no fun. How am I supposed to call you for datos? Huh? Eh? Yes. Do I really want to apply for this? I'll make ten pounds per week. Go for it. And... I'll try giving him a call, I guess. Although, wait, before we do that, should I read about him? 
There he is. Six foot two, November 21st. A fairly intimidating red-haired intellectual, Brett is the president of the drama club. While his manners could use a little work, he's dedicated to his club. I'll give him that. He's just a Mr. Darcy. If you read Jane Austen, you should know that, Rosie. All right. Give him a call. Guess I'll give Red a call. What are you wearing? You look so proper. Hello. Who is this? Uh, hey. Um, it's me, Rosie. I was just wondering if you were up for going somewhere today. Somewhere. Such as. I can't go to the library. Uh, the park? Is that intellectual enough for you? The park. I can't say I have any desperate reason to go there, Beret. Aw, it'll be really fun, honest. I'm sure even you have to take a break from your books every once in a while. Hmm. I suppose I could meet you there a little later. Really? Thanks, Rhett. You won't regret it. I'm sure. I only hope I can remember where the place is. Success? Question mark? How? I thought for sure he's gonna give us heck. We're gonna go shopping next week at this rate. Hm. Oh, hello. Ah, you're here already. You haven't been waiting long, have you? <laughs> you're lucky. I only just got here myself this time. Shall we? Hmm. That sort of thing seems to have been doing the rounds lately. It does kind of suit you, I suppose. What? This whole thing? I just kind of threw it on. It's a good thing I'm up to date with my fashion, I guess. <laughs> See? Aren't you glad to be away from those musty books and out in fresh air for once? Yes, Beret. Lord knows I'd never have found my way outside on my own. <sighs> I suppose the weather is quite nice. What exactly were you planning on doing here anyway? Oh, sorry, this is Red. <laughs> Never mind. This makes much more sense coming from him. <sighs> I suppose the weather is quite nice. What exactly were you planning on doing here anyway? Much as I enjoy admiring the scenery. Well... First I save. I kind of have a feeling you would like this though. We could try and get some work done. How about it? It's a nice change of pace anyway, right? <laughs> okay, he doesn't want that. Okay, I'm sorry, so I check. Let's go feed the ducks. They have them down at the lake, right? I always loved feeding them when I was a kid. How old are you, 12? I'm sure they have enough problems keeping the numbers of those things down without you encouraging them. What? You mean the ducks? What have you got against them? <laughs> Nothing in particular, but I'm sure they're able to feed, fend for themselves. I doubt any of the, those kiosks hawking their bird feed even s stop to consider the impact they might have on the pond ecosystem. Blah, blah, blah. If you don't want to feed them, just say so. But when you see how much fun I'm having, you'll know you'll want to join in. Hardly. Those things are vicious, you know. Huh. Is he actually bothered about the ecosystem, or does he just not like ducks? The plot thickens. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so there's that one, and let's get something to eat. I'm sure we passed a few of those little park cafes on our way down here. <laughs> I'm sure we didn't have to come all the way to the park for that beret. True, but you gotta admit, the scenery's a lot nicer down here. What could be better than afternoon tea under a leafy canopy? Hmm. Ah, there we go. Finally, a smile. Good grief, dude. Well, I suppose it could be worse. At the very least, the food here is slightly healthier than the muck you get at the cafes in town, as I recall. That's the spirit. It's a good thing, too. I'm starving after the walk down here. <sighs> you might want to work on your endurance, Beret. What? That was a good five-minute walk right there. I'm about ready to collapse. Sir. My good sir. So he likes to eat. Good to know. We've learned so much about him already. Ugh. Man, they don't have any decent mags here. Where's my woman's weekly? 
where indeed hmm gotta love the smell of musty dictionaries in the morning <coughs> oh well guess I'd better get used to it if I'm going to be working here for the rest of the year I wonder if there's someone I'm supposed to be speaking to nobody in here looks like they run the place but I've got no idea what I'm meant to be doing let me guess need any help there <sighs> Irk! Irk, Dirk, I love your sweater! Ugh, and jumper. So good. Hey! Isn't that Red Sugden? He's certainly looking dapper. Are you looking for anything in particular? A level English course books are in the corner if you're after those. And why is he being so helpful? He's like a totally different person. Because we work with him, I'm guessing. Uh, actually, no. I'm meant to be working here starting today. Uh, I was kind of wondering who was in charge, or if I was just supposed to start doing things, or what. What? Of all the... They actually employed you, Beret. I didn't think it had come to that. And the ret we know and love rears his ugly head. Well, seeing what a wonderful job you're doing ingratiating yourself with your boss, you might not last long. Oh, please. You're what, 17? There's no way you're managing this place. Ugh, maybe so. But as the actual boss doesn't grace us with her presence too often, I'm afraid you're stuck with me. You can say that again. Well, I was just about to get started labeling that new stock, but this could be an excellent training opportunity for you, Beret. Hey, I'm not here to do your job, you know. Don't forget to shut the system down when you're done. Oi! Is it too late to reconsider? I don't remember signing anything. The two of you are just gonna get into nothing but trouble, you know. I guess we'll go to club. Uh, let's see. Start raising our other stats a little bit in the meantime. Oh, wow. The train's usually so packed at this time of day, but for once it's actually pretty empty. Wonder where all the commuters got to. Ugh, get it together, Rosie. Who cares about where the sweaty businessman buggered off to? I've got all this work due in today that I haven't even started. They don't mind a few jolts and scribbles here and there, right? Bloody train shaking about all the time. Oh! Huh, looks like someone had the same idea I did. There he is. Wow. He must be pretty trusting, sleeping on public transport like that. Or am I the only one who thinks these kind of things? Shame we don't have any classes together. I could probably view schoolwork as an excuse to talk to him. Though, hey, is this even work? Looks like some kind of weird poem. And though I've tried, the whole within, your scent, the taste of cherry liqueur. I never did get blank verse. Seeps in through the cracks, and it's a lie, and I can't be trusted. Is this supposed to be a song? Uh, kinda. Ah! S sorry Oh, no, no! I mean, uh, I'm sorry. You'll, uh, you'll be wanting these back, huh? Uh, I guess. Did you write this? It is a song, right? It's meant to be. I mean, it's not polished yet or anything. Really? I didn't really get it, to be honest. Is it one of those songs that isn't really about anything, or am I just retarded? These things always go over my head. Huh, <laughs> you're not retarded. If anything is, it's this. It really is complete crap. I was aiming for that kind of deep, pretentious vibe, but I'm really not cut out for this songwriting thing, I guess. Nah, you just need a little practice, that's all. I mean, you're still young, so... Uh, I guess. Huh, I never really had you pegged as a music type, though, Rosie. I'm impressed. And kind of pissed that you saw right through me, but mostly impressed. Huh, well, I try. Why are you writing song lyrics anyway? Are you in a band or something? Huh? Oh, no. I do play, though. The guitar, I mean. 
I figure if I want to be a serious musician, I should probably, you know, start writing my own material. Well, it's good that you're so serious about it anyway, even if you're not quite there yet, right? Plus, well... What? Well, you know that's pretty cool, right? A young guitarist struggling to find inspiration? It's kind of romantic. Huh. <laughs> How does everything with you end up coming back to romance one way or the other? But it's true. His search for inspiration leads him far and wide across cities, through deserts, and eventually into the arms of his one true love. Ahem. <clears throat> Something like that. So you think I just need inspiration? Of course. I'm sure it's just writer's block or something. Maybe some new experiences to help the artistic flow a little. Hmm. Makes sense, I guess. Maybe I'll give it a try. Thanks, Rosie. Anytime. Of course, when I say new experiences, I mean new experiences with me. But not this time, because we're getting some new experiences of our own with Mr. Taciturn at this rate. <laughs>